Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. Welcome back to Miss T's house. It's time to ruin her life yet again. Here we go. Sorry, Miss T. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Kindly Kian and welcome back to Scary Teacher 3D. You guys know the drill. We're pranking Miss T. We got more levels to play. I feel bad for her, but I don't. So let's just do it. Miss T is going to be itching to have a good time this winter. What? Okay. It's cold. Yes. It's very cold. You're gonna get sick, Miss T. Don't do that. Don't get sick. That would be awful. Like I care. I've blown up this lady. I've given her diarrhea. I've launched giant spiders at her face. I'm concerned that she's gonna get sick. I don't think so. All right, make her itch when she wears jacket. Okay, so is she heading upstairs to put on a jacket? Cause it's so cold in her house? I don't know. Let's go upstairs and find her jacket. Everything is locked down. Wow, okay. Miss T is really up the security here at her home and I don't like it. Oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> How am I still up here? Okay, I don't think that's gonna work. So let's try going in through here. Can I, can I get in through this window? Can I not jump high enough? Oh, he's done it. Amazing agility. Do you think if we put hot sauce in her jacket, it'll make it itchy. Is this even hot sauce? I don't even know. I don't think it is. Let's head upstairs and try to find the jacket. I suspect that it's like in her closet or she has like these wardrobes all over the place, right? Like these. I don't think it's in that specific one, but it's probably in something like that. She's coming upstairs. Whoa, what is this? Ant killer. Talcum powder. Isn't talcum powder to make it so that you don't itch? And then literally itching powder. Yeah, I think that'll work a little bit better than hot sauce. Apply it before she wears jacket. That seems pretty straightforward. Where is she? Where are you? Oh, she's chasing me. These are the things that I want to check. These cabinets. Where is Miss T's actual bedroom? I've always wondered. She has like 20 rooms in this house. Which one does she actually sleep in? I feel like that's where she would keep her jackets or not because she's kind of crazy. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, yes. But which one is she going to wear? <laughs> Wait, how am I supposed to know? Maybe she'll wear the pink one because she likes pink. I don't make sure suffer when she take a bath. Huh? Why? <laughs> What? Okay, so she's gonna put on the jacket and then she's gonna get itchy and then she's gonna have to jump into the bath to like wash off the, the itchiness? Is that, is that what's happening? These pranks are getting way more elaborate for my, my brain. My brain can't handle how complicated these pranks are. What am I supposed to do to make her suffer in her bath? Oh gosh, she's chasing me. Please don't. Yes. Oh. This one looks rather nice. She put on the pink jacket. Okay. <laughs> okay, she's getting really itchy. How am I gonna make her suffer to taking a bath though? Like, I don't, I don't know. Is this the bath where she's gonna go? I think I need to go to the other bath. Oh, she's already there. She's, I think I failed. I think she's just gonna wash off the itchiness and then she'll be good to go. What is that? Instant geyser? Huh? It's like a water heater? Are you enjoying your bath, Miss T? It appears that she is, and that is disappointing for us all. Oh, yes. Yeah, she's happy. Much better now. Dang, she's so happy, and that, that's not good. We don't want Miss T to ever be happy. Just kind of super messed up. Okay, so we got the first half down. It's just the bath situation. There is like a water heater in her bathroom. I feel like we need to mess with that. I feel like that is the goal. So before I mess around with the jacket, 
I want to figure out the bath situation. So let's head upstairs. And let's try to tamper with that water heater thing. Okay. I have found the bathroom. I found the weird water heater thingy. I cannot interact with it. I thought maybe I could like turn the knobs or something. I cannot. Little concerning. Don't know what to do. So one thing that I did notice was that there was a pipe leading into that water heater. I'm wondering if we can go on the outside of the house and follow that pipe. Maybe it'll lead us somewhere. So I'm trying to figure out where would that pipe be on the outside of the house. So I'm just going to walk around and uh, see if we find anything. Well, I found something. It's a Miss T. Not what I was looking for. I'm leaving. Are you serious? What is this? That is a pipe. Oh my gosh. And there's a lever that we can interact with. That is the answer to our question. For sure. I guess I just use a ladder to get up there. A little due diligence paid off there. I'm feeling pretty good about this one. I hope that this is actually what I'm supposed to be doing. It feels like it's the right thing. I'm not close enough. Gotta scoot over. There, try that. There you go. Okay. No, don't fall. Don't fall. You're falling. Stupid ladder. Try again. Pull the lever. Okay. I'm pretty sure that that killed the water heater, which should make Miss T's bath very unpleasant. So now we just need to put the itching powder into the jacket, and I think we're good to go. And for the record, I haven't used any hints. I'm feeling pretty good. There's the itching powder. Okay, we definitely want that. Okay, there's the jackets. Put the itching powder in the pink one, because pink is Miss T's favorite color, of course. And then we watch. Okay, Miss T is ready to conquer the cold. She has her very itchy sweater on. Oh, she's reacting. Yes. Okay, you're gonna have to go take a bath now, Miss T. Wash off all that itchiness. Oh boy, it's gonna be a miserable bath. Hopefully. I mean, I turned the valve, but what if there was more that I had to do? Like, what if I had to press a button? on that that water heater machine after i pulled the valve i don't know I'm, I'm a little concerned it still looks like it's working that's the part that i don't like let's see let's see what happens be miserable but, oh no water's coming out maybe she's making some weird noises that little oh yes <laughs> Got her! Yes! We gave her a cold. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. We've done it! A little due diligence there paid off for sure. Figured that one out without any hints. Feeling pretty good. But there's still one more level. So let's check it out. Okay, we got fireworks. Lovely, lovely fireworks. Oh, that is a These very fools. large firework. These pathetic little fools. Oh, my fireworks display will blow their little attempt out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> She's okay. She has a very large explosive device on her porch. Make her fly along with the fireworks. That sounds amazing. How am I going to make this happen? I have no idea. Where's the large firework? Wasn't it right here? Where'd it go? Miss T. What'd you do with that giant firework? Rope? Rope. Okay. I I might be able to tie Miss T to a giant firework. Straight from a Looney Tunes cartoon. I like the sound of that. What is this? Oh! Large firework. That's what it is. Hello. What do I... Make her fly along with the fireworks. How do I do that? Okay, so I've attached that rope to the firework, but how do I attach Miss T to the rope? <laughs> I don't know. I know that I'm not doing this right, but at least we did find the giant firework. The look on everyone's face. <laughs> she can't wait to see the look on everyone's face when she blows up the neighborhood. See, what's going on over here? This is really interesting. This bucket is glowing, and then there's a pile of snow which I don't think was on the previous level. Oh no, she's gonna see me. Oh. Something's not right here. No, everything's perfect. Uh, huh, 
<laughs> oh, that little brat thought he could fool me. <laughs> the whole world will bear witness to my greatness. <laughs> yes, you are truly the greatest. So she definitely caught on to whatever it was that we were trying to do. We've got to make it so that she gets stuck to that rope. But I have no idea how to do that. I do see that a shovel is one of the recommended items. I'm wondering if I need to put snow in that bucket, but why would that do anything? Like, what would that actually accomplish? I don't know. Let's just, let's just try some stuff here. So there's a shovel right over here. So let's grab that. And then let's grab the rope. But let's see, can we use the shovel on this? We can. Okay. Am I putting it in the... I'm putting it in the bucket. Okay. And then... What do I do... With this? Maybe we can bury the rope in snow. Oh my gosh. It's brilliant. Maybe? And then... And then she'll... Okay. Okay. And then... Do I have to put like a bear trap to get her to get stuck on the rope? Or is that good enough? Or maybe glue? Glue! What if you glue the rope and then she walks on it and she gets stuck on it? I know there's glue in her house. But let's just see what happens, but I think we're on to something here. Okay, okay, okay. She's standing on the rope, she doesn't know. <laughs> that was horrifying. Kind of cool, though, that her firework actually turned into her face. Not gonna lie. I'm, I'm relatively impressed. But that was not what we were supposed to do. I feel like the glue thing is the right way to go. A bear trap was actually a recommended item. So do you think the bear trap is the way to go? I have extra coins, so I'm gonna buy a bear trap. And then I'm going to do the rope and the snow thing and see if I can put the bear trap under the snow. I have no idea, but it's worth a shot. Okay, let's see if we can make this work. Put that there. Then put that there. Oh, oh, oh okay. I made a loop. Maybe that's all I had to do. Was that all I had to do was make a loop so that her foot gets caught in it? The bear trap was overkill. Maybe? Let's wait and see what happens. Let's okay. Do oh, this. here we go. Here we go. The moment. Everything Please. Please. Oh. Yes! Stop. Let's go! Oh. <laughs> I will have my revenge. <laughs> that was so good. Oh, it was beautiful. It was so beautiful. No hints. That was fantastic. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I was very happy with the end results of both of those pranks. Giving Miss T a cold, launching her into the sky. It just keeps getting better. I love it. Looking forward to more levels for sure, but that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo on it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.